Hi everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how I did the background in this picture from Beauty of Horror by Alan Roberts. This is my favourite picture in the book and I really felt like colouring it this month even though it didn't go in with my theme at all but I wanted to colour it so hey I just went with it. The only problem was the background and the background is this repetitive pattern of hot shaped boxes which yeah matches with the subject of the picture but I just couldn't face colouring in all these little little icons all the same all the way through so and what I've done is I've actually collaged out the the background with note paper and the note paper is just taken from taken from this notebook and I actually had a bit of an accident with it I spilled my coffee on it and um, I figured oh the paper is ruined now but I really think it works for this background so here it is the pages with the accidental coffee spills and as you can see I've done a bit of doodling and a bit of writing of lyrics onto the paper before I've stuck it down um, a few stars these are gold stars of stickers that I've put on there there's also a little bit of watercolor pencil just going around the edges of the paper just to kind of grungeify it up a little bit more because obviously you know Nirvana Kurt Cobain grunge and um, it seemed to really fit so I'm going to try and show you how I did that background and hopefully I can get it to work on camera as well as it did off a camera because I think it's going pretty well so I'll just show you the basic technique with this little background that's left here I'll show you how I did it first of all you need to get some tracing paper and we're going to trace out the shape that we want our paper to be covering and luckily this illustration had really thick kind of lines to colour around the outside and I made them black and that should hopefully cover a multitude of sins. If we're using the white lined paper just to stick into the background we can just go over these lines and fill it in where I've, if we do make any little mistakes. So, so we're going to trace around where we want where we want the shape of the art to actually be there. That's kind of the rough, sh rough shapes that we're going to be looking at going out there. And the way I wanted to arrange my paper in the collage was to have one sheet on the top like that and then a little bit of the lyrics that I've written down. Maybe overlapping it like that. Once I've traced where his guitar is going to go, we'll have a bit of the lyrics there. And this anarchy symbol, which I've copied off the cheerleaders on the other side, is going to take up this bottom corner. So hopefully that will all work out. So first of all, we want to sort out this paper here. So I'm going to use the back of the tracing paper book just to rest on. This is the shape that we drew to go around the illustration. And what we do is we turn the paper over and go over the back of the line so that there's pencil like on each side of the line it doesn't have to be neat if you're doing it on the back it doesn't have to be neat as long as there's pencil on the other side of that line and this is going to transfer the line onto the note paper once we go over it. Okay, all going over there. Then we get the note paper. And that's how we want that's how we want it to be on the actual illustration. So we flip that back over. and draw on the line that we want to leave for the illustration. Just go over the same lines again. Once you flipped it back over the right way round, you go over your line again. Oh, I made a mistake with my, with my colouring on the back there. I didn't do it quite right, so there we go. Now we should be transferring. And as you can see, the line has transferred onto this paper here. So what we do now is we just cut that out and just grab some scissors. 
You can use a craft knife, but I've been using scissors just because I've been doing it on this settee this morning and it's a lot easier just to cut it out with little scissors. Okay. So now, just move that out of the way. We should have our line that fits more or less around our illustration like that. There we go, that's how that would go. Slightly off there, but I'll show you how I've been coping with that. So now, so now we get some scrap paper and make sure that we're putting the glue onto the <laughs> the reverse of our um, cutout so that's the shape that we need we're going to flip it over and we're going to put the glue stick on the back of there make sure we're going right to the edges these edges here are the important ones so make sure you go right to those edges and we turn around the right way and place it oops, that's slightly on. There we go. And smack it down. Now, as I said, I've gone slightly wrong here. And this is what I said about the having those big thick lines is a bit of a bonus really because what you can do is just colour over the edge of your paper with a bit of the Crayola Super Tip because that's what I coloured in this black line with. It's just Crayola Super Tip with a little bit of pencil over the top. So if you take your Super Tip you can just go over the line. And there we go, that's our first layer and it is peeking over the edge of the page there, that's not a problem. What you do is turn it over and you can just trim off the edges. paper right, this, the next piece of paper I want to use is this one where I've written some of the song lyrics and I would like this to be kind of tilted so that we can see a lot of those and these are going to overlap these two here and I want to be able to see most of the song lyrics but some of them missing isn't too bad I don't mind that at all so that kind of shape, maybe, there we go, that's how I'm going to want that to be, by using the edges of the illustration here where we can see what's going on. We can sort of match up where we want this to be going, so we can go over those lines and as we went over them earlier it should transfer and give us a guide for cutting out our collage outline There we go, you can see that's transferred onto the paper, so we'll just cut that one out. There we go, we've cut out our shape there. Let's just check that's the right kind of right kind of fit. A few little little mistakes shouldn't matter. As I've showed you, we can just go over those with the pen and 
correct them as long as the shape is somewhat the right kind of shape I think we can cope with that so there we go we just glue stick make sure we glue stick on the back of our piece of paper try to cover the whole piece of paper some will some will be going over the edge of our page but that doesn't matter we can trim it like I showed you as best we can can put this scrap paper over the top and rub it down just to make sure it's sticking around the edges. And again where our lines have gone a little bit wonky we can top that up with a black pen. Again, we're going off the edge of the paper there, so we'll just flip the page over and trim that off. Okay. For the last piece of paper at the bottom, we'll need another tracing. Okay, the last piece of paper at the bottom. I use the edge of the tracing paper just to show me where the edge of the, the illustrated page is. And that's just to show where the edge of this paper has come to. I don't mind if I overlap it. I probably will overlap it. So I will make sure I've got the edge of that there so there's room to overlap. And that's the shape we've got there. I'll just mark in this edge. And then, like last time, we'll go over. Flip, that's our tracing. We flip it over and go over the lines. Just make sure there's pencil over the lines. If, if it's the back, you're just using it to transfer so it doesn't have to be neat. Our next piece of paper, place down our pattern, draw in our edges, and I want this to be coming up slightly anyway, so I'll just carry that line on and mark in our bottom edge. Let's see how well we've worked this one out. <laughs> all cut out and I think it fits pretty well into where we're wanting it to be. Might be a few little touch-ups in there but yeah that looks fine to me so again we just glue on the back. I try to cover most of it even if it's going to be hanging off the edge because then at least you know that the edges will stick. our last piece in. Yeah, to be 
go back there. And there we go. Choose a scrap paper to press down our edges. We have a little bit of touch up to do there. It's a tiny bit that worked out better than I expected. Ooh, maybe there as well. There we go, not too bad. Let's just trim off the edges. Probably need to wash the scissors after doing this. There we go. And what I've been doing here is just like doing some little doodles, writing some lyrics. Um, I did look up the lyrics to the song. <laughs> I will admit there is not. Uh, not one of my favourites, so let's have a... I didn't know the lyrics. I did watch the video though to try and get my my outfit as close as I could for Kurt there. Oh, I've missed a patch on his jeans. I'll fix that up before I do my finished pages. But yeah, there we go. Um, I've drawn a few lines just echoing the shapes of the illustration there. I might add in a few, a few of those. Just make it look a bit. The idea was to make it look like a school notebook, you know, when you have your favourite bands in school and you do all their lyrics everywhere and stuff like that. That's what I was aiming for with this. Um, what else can we have? Trying to make the writing look pretty messy. And there we go, looking cool. Got another star. Just a doodle to draw down here. Okay, I might stick one of the little gold ones there. That seems like that would fit in quite well. And what I did on these bits over here as well, I've added a little bit of watercolour pencil. Which, because we've used glue stick to stick these down, it might lift the corners a little bit, but you can go back in, put some more glue on and stick them back down. And because this is super tip water-based marker have to be a bit careful if we're going near the edges so we use very little water i've just been adding a little bit of the watercolor pencil scribbling on making little kind of stains on the paper Especially around the edges, if there's two bits of paper overlapping, I'll try and put some along there. A bit there, and here maybe. Just to highlight those edges and make the collage really obvious. I did touch up down there, so I have to be pretty careful. I do also have a lighter brown watercolor pencils. These are Albert Durer. I do have a little twelve set of Albert Durer, and these are both from there. That is the walnut brown and the what color is that one? Burnt ochre. Then just then just take a little bit of water, just a little bit of water. Dab off your brush, dab off your brush on the kitchen towel because we, we want very little water, just enough to activate the pencils. Give us a bit of a, a sort of stain effect or. 
gives a bit of a stain effect around the edges and sort of highlight the figures a little bit as well there we go it's looking cool a bit more of the light colour around these bits and there and then we flick up small amount of water and staying away from the, the black marker because that is water paste and unfortunately this book I did make a bit of a mistake on this this side here I did go a bit too close to my black marker there and I've ended up making some bleed through onto the next page which hopefully I should be able to cover up, but yeah, it's just something to bear in mind if you if you do use water media and water-based pens. Oh, that's not quite well. And being careful of your water based pan. That's kind of blended into the coffee stain, which has worked quite well. Oops, I'm a bit too close to the black pen there. And there we go, we'll wait for that to dry before closing the book. And just as a finishing touch, I might add a couple of these gold stars. Just gold star stickers. <laughs> there we go, we might add a couple of those. Maybe one, I think, going off the edge over here. We can trim that off. And just fold back the page very carefully and slip off any excess there. And there we go. I think that works really well for that page. I'm really pleased with how that's turned out. I'll just add my little signature here. Which blends in quite well with those toodly lines. And yeah, that's our finished picture. I've also added in another little star there just as a finishing touch but I'm going to call it done now and hope you enjoyed that. Hope it's given some of you some ideas and um, thanks for watching everybody. Take care, see you in future videos. Bye!